Mike, um, Malone just said the thing that he was most proud about was that after Dame hit those two threes, you guys didn't hang your head going into overtime or going into the second overtime. How how did you guys not let it deflate you? <laughs> I mean, it was tied up after that, 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, and we knew that there was only five minutes. We knew we couldn't hang our heads. This was a big one for us, and we needed it. Christos Saltas, SDNA Greece. Hey, Michael. Great game tonight. What is the as that aspect for you as it for you that you are most proud of about your effort and about your team's effort tonight? I'm just proud of us. Like uh, like Mike just said, we didn't we didn't hang our head after you know Dame was going insane. Um, that was unbelievable what he was doing out there, and we uh we combated it. You know what I'm saying? It was a total team effort tonight, and I'm proud of everybody. Monte, 28 points, you know, stepped up huge at the line. So I'm really proud of him. Ryan Blackburn, Denver Stiffs. Hey, Mike, it's, it's been a, there's been a lot talked about with you stepping up into this role uh, ever since Jamal went down, Will went down, PJ's gone down. Uh, which of the veterans have, have really been in your ear lately uh, just trying to uh, keep you on the right track, especially after a game like game four, where it felt like you were taken out of your game a little bit. Yeah, I think Paul, Paul Millsap, um, he's always in my ear just telling me, go be that guy, you know what I mean? Um, be aggressive at all times. If that means, you know, impose my will, taking some tough shots, I got to do that. I can't let a, like a team or a game plan um, take me out of the game, like it happened in game four, even though they're doing a really, a really tough job on me. I got to continue to, you know, help my team any way I can. Katie Benji, Altitude Sports. Michael, what's the locker room like after a win like that? Obviously, it's not the series, but it's it's a huge win on the road to accomplishing what you guys want to accomplish. I mean, yeah, we all, we were definitely very excited because we, we, need, we knew we needed this win. Um, but we know the job's not over, not even close. Um, we got to go to Portland. That's a super tough environment. Um, so next game is going to be even more intense. Nick Cosmider, The Athletic. Michael, two-part question for you. What does it feel like to hit a game-winning shot in game five of an NBA playoff series with 10,000 people going nuts, with Dame Lillard on the other side making the shots he was making? Just what did that moment feel like? I mean, it's, it's everything that I, we as players work for to be in these moments. Um, you know, I just got to be grateful for these moments, take a step back and really realize um, how big these moments are for me and the team. But, you know, I think I hit that shot with like a minute 30 or two minutes left. So we still had to make some big stops on the other end and play defense. Um, and, you know, try not to let Dame get off any more threes. Mike Singer, Denver Post. Mike, when we talked to you the other day, you were adamant that you said this game was going to be different. Um, you said you were going to be the aggressor. You were going to impose your will. Why were you so confident that it didn't matter what the Blazers were going to throw at you defensively, that, that tonight was going to be different? Because that's who I am. I just got to uh, trust in that, you know. Um, I got to – I can't let games like that happen, especially in the playoffs when my team is depending on me. So I just told myself, be yourself out there. Be aggressive. Um, your team – everybody on the team was telling me, shoot the ball. Um, they believe in me, so – that definitely helps as well. Leonardo Torres, El Comercio, Peru. Hi, Mike. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on your win. Mike, what was your motivation for going out and showing a great offensive performance? I mean, my motivation was really just help my team any way I can. I knew they were going to make it tough on me. They weren't going to leave me too many times. Um, but I knew when I had the chances, I knew they were going to come and I had to be aggressive and take advantage of it. Uh, so that's, that was my mindset going in. Esteban Abed. Hi, Mike. Congrats for the win from Cordoba, Argentina. Um, after the after win for 22 points, the team lost for five. How do you describe the, the focus, the mentality of the team to never give, give up and take the, this victory. I'm just proud of us, man. I'm proud of the team. It's time to celebrate it for a second and move on to the next game.
Mike Singer, Denver Post. Hey Mike, what did you guys as a team learn about yourselves, about how to approach a game where you guys have the lead in the series? You guys were up 2-1, did not come out with the right approach in game four. How does that affect or impact what you guys do in game six? Uh, like you just said, it's a lesson. Um, we, we learn from it and move on. We know what that environment is like up there now, and we, uh, we got to be ready to go from the jump because this game is going to be crazy. Marcus Thompson, The Athletic. Hey, Michael, what, you just went up against one of the great scorers of all time who was on fire, setting the record. I know, you, you know, you're a player and all that. What is that moment like you're going against one of the best? He's on fire and you got to guard him. What does that feel like in that moment for you? I mean, you know, that's where I want to be one day. I want to be one of those players that people talk about, just like you were talking about Damian Lillard. So it, that's, those are growing moments. And uh but it's, you know, we're all in the NBA. It's about competing now. Um, obviously, I grew up watching a lot of these dudes that I'm playing against play. So I have tremendous respect for all these guys. But once you get on the court, you got to turn that, uh, that off. And it's just about competing. All right, that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. Appreciate it.